I always love the It's catching. at the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> All right, welcome back. It is time for today's talker. Nick Cannon is a dad, yes. Again? Again. For the ninth time, actually. Mm -hmm. The comedian and masked singer host welcomed a baby girl named Onyx Ice Cole Cannon with former Price is Right model, Alicia Cole Yastrow. Okay, nine. I've not been keeping track. She did share this Art, picture of her daughter to Instagram. It is, as well as a sweet video gushing over how Cannon smiled at his baby girl. She is adorable. This is the first child for Cole, but as we said, not for Cannon. He shares 11-year-old twins Monroe and Moroccan with ex Mariah Carey, as well as son Golden Sagan, who's five, and daughter Powerful Queen, who's nine. Yes, that's months. the name, Powerful I love Queen. Do we have video of all these kids with model Brittany? Bell, um, who is currently expecting their third child together. So wait, would that be 10? We're doing the math here, right? Yes. Yeah. The, yes. So ninth has been born, but 10 mm -hmm. is on the tenth way. 10th is on the way. Okay. With wow. uh, a lot of different women. He's a dad. So Cannon is also a dad to 15-month-old twins, Zion and Zillian, with former radio personality Abby De La Rosa. She is expecting her third baby this fall. And additionally, Cannon recently welcomed son Legendary Love. Look at these names. Weeks ago. <laughs> right? Yes, I know, with model Brie Tiesi. And he is also father to a child with Alyssa Scott, son Zinn, who died at five months old in December of 2021 after being diagnosed with brain cancer. That was a big story. Critics online have questioned, though, Cannon's untraditional views think? on monogamy, right? Something that he actually addressed while announcing Onyx Isis' birth. What about his untraditional views on names? Mm, that too. I kind of like the names, right? But hey, I mean, I, I like, I like legendary love. I think that's, I think that's cute. But I just always think of like when you call the names out, legendary. Hey, come here, like, like you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> it's kind of well. kind of weird. But I think people's question is like um, the the time that he can spend with these children, right? right? So when you have so many in different homes, the question is, are they going to mm. get enough time equally mm -hmm. spread? So, yeah, that's always the big question. Definitely got a lot of Christmas hey, presents to buy, to too. That is true. Birthday presents, money. for sure. <laughs> All right, uh, let's take a look at some fun for the president. He doesn't get to do it that often, but take a look. I'll tell you what. Let him drive it off. Watch out. <laughs> okay. I'll tell you my head of my Secret Service detail. I'm driving to him. And they all went, no, you're not. <laughs> uh, that's President Biden in a 2023 Chevrolet Corvette revving up the engine there. This has had his trip to the Detroit Auto Ooh. Show. That's the first time the show's been on because of the pandemic in three years. The president also took a drive here. This is the electric Cadillac Lyric with a Secret Service agent in the passenger seat. Now, uh, here's the thing. Like, the president and former presidents, they are not allowed to drive right. by Secret Service rule. Oh, really? So this is kind of a big deal. I mean, obviously, that's Breaking not a public rules. road. A it's breaker. in a private place, and he's able to do it. Yeah. But, I mean, I'm just jealous he got to go to the I was going to say, you're Auto a big show. car guy. That's one of the shows I've never been to and always want to go to. Okay, bucket list. Uh, and that's where Marissa's from, Michigan. Marissa, have you ever been to the Detroit Auto yeah, Show? Yeah, I'm surprised, Tom. You've never been there. I have been there multiple times. Um, both of my parents worked for Ford. My father-in-law worked for Ford. My grandma worked at the Henry Ford Mansion. Oh, cool. So I like to say I'm kind of a Ford kid. But uh, but yeah, the auto show is really cool. And it's really cool that he actually got to drive, uh, President Biden got to drive one of those vehicles because you never really get to do that at the auto show. Very cool site. Yeah, I, uh, I I wanted to go and made plans and then like pandemic happened and then, you know, like they moved it around. It's at a different time. Mm -hmm. So maybe next year. Then I'll, Always I'll, next year, I'll right? see yes. the president. Marissa has no right connections. So. Yeah, she can hook you up. <laughs> yeah, apparently. <laughs> Go check I don't know if I have now. many connections anymore now. I just talked myself up, but no, I don't. I don't actually, you know, know any of the people that are like higher up in Ford. Uh, so no, I don't have any. I'm connections sure the family there. name Marissa goes a long way. Yeah. you're good. You know the Walzins? They're like we have twelve thousand employees <laughs> yeah. here. I don't know. Yeah.